Alan, thank you. Tonight, getting around Metro Detroit, posing a danger at a busy Oak Park intersection. This morning, police were back at Kipling and Balfour after two vehicles wrecked a truck flipping upside down. 7 Action News reporter Rudy Harper spoke to neighbors. He's live tonight with what they really want there. Rudy. Well, Dave, these neighbors really want a four way stop here at this neighborhood intersection. They tell me they've been fighting for it for years. Today, a police cruiser was parked here as a decoy to slow down drivers, but neighbors say it won't save lives. What does it take, an act of God or someone dying? Our biggest fear is somebody's going to get killed. Oak Park neighbors call this intersection a death trap for drivers. They don't yield, they ignore it. John Klein has lived near Kipling and Balfour for two decades. His car was totaled in 2016. A tire flew off one of the cars involved in the accident and totaled my Toyota. His neighbors also impacted. I can tell you that I've seen you no know, uh, seven people that have been affected by Mm -hmm. in just this block. I was hit right here in this intersection. The problem, they all say, is there are no stop signs at the intersection, just yield signs for traffic heading north and south. If it was eight inches over, I would have either been crippled or killed. This neighborhood, it's like a cut through. Sydney Proudfoot lives nearby too. She says just this morning, there was another crash involving a child at the intersection. And you see a woman who had a child in her car. Then you have a truck who's upside down. Proudfoot says the families were lucky to walk away. The city's police chief says they are in the process of another traffic study to see if stop signs will solve the problem. The city engineer, I believe, doesn't really think much of uh, the difference between the yield signs and stop signs. But neighbors say it's time for action. What we are pushing for is a four-way stop. That's what we want. Who has the power? Okay. I really just want the stop sign. The police chief also told me his department has recorded only six accidents here in the past three and a half years. Neighbors say there are more that go unreported. As we mentioned, there's a school just a half a block away. Neighbors are concerned about the students that cross this intersection each day. The city says they'll get back with us tomorrow and we will be sure to let you know what they say. Live in Oak Park, I'm Rudy Harper, 7 Action News. We certainly will. Thank you so much, Rudy, for the live report.